So, throughout Portal's basically 15 year history, there's been tons of mods made for it, some coming out even before Portal was a year old. And as a guy who's played many, many, many Portal mods, I thought I should rank them all. So, I downloaded a bunch of mods, and we'll be going through ranking them. Let's hop into it. Ah, good old Portal Prelude. As basically the first mod, a lot of people have fond memories of this, and honestly, I think it's a good play. It looks cool, some of the puzzles are nice, and it's pretty fun, but that doesn't mean it's without its flaws. For one, some of the lines are a little... well... And that's not the only line like that, there's like a bunch more. Another issue is that some of the chambers kind of feel two-dimensional. Now, a lot of them are actually based off of the chambers in Portal the Flash Edition, more on that later in this video. Not every chamber is like that though, but there are some chambers that I just really hate because they don't have any good direction. I will say though that I really love the music in this, and it's my favorite out of any Portal mod I just can't show you because it's copyrighted. I give Portal Preload an 8 out of 10. Visually, it looks great, but some of the puzzles could be much better, and there's a ton of really tedious parts. But I don't hate it like some people do. <clears throat> but yeah, I think it's alright, I guess. <laughs> I'll always have a special place for Portal Pro in my heart. It was actually the first one that I downloaded, and I think it's actually pretty good. It's fun to play through, and the puzzles are solid. Some problems I do have is that the test chambers seem to have really random difficulty spikes. Like in one chamber, you have to do a simple fling, and then the next, you have to deal with this. Oh god, not this one. Besides this, some of the puzzles are pretty good, and they're really fun to play. I give Portal Pro a solid 7 out of 10. It doesn't do anything too mind-blowing, but it's pretty fun to play. And the cool thing about it is that it has a sequel, which will lead us right into... All well, this repetition is making me want to murder something. Rexara is one of the best portal mods out there. The puzzles are amazing, it makes great use of energy pellets, and is actually the only Portal 1 mod on Steam itself. This mod really gets you thinking, and can actually get really hard at times. And something that's good about it is it doesn't have the issue of Portal Pro, which had random difficulty spikes. Now, this mod would get a perfect 10 out of 10, the only problem being that there's basically no escape sequence. Now, story-wise, this does make sense, and it's obviously that this mod was made purely for the puzzles. It would have just been nice to have something along the lines of that. So, I give Rexara a 9 out of 10. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of Okay, this is one of those mods that divides people. Some people love it, some people hate it, and me? I'm not a big fan. <laughs> okay, look, I'll say this. The story is cool, and I really like the idea of the NPC being like a co-op character, but that's really about it. A majority of the puzzles just aren't that great, and there are tons of hammer issues, just so many that I can't mention them all in this video. But if you want an in-depth analysis of all the issues in this mod, check out Wonderland War Gaming's videos. They talk about a lot of them there. But yeah, I give this mod a 4 out of 10. I'll bet if I didn't use Hammer, I'd probably put this higher on the list, though. It just could use a lot more polish. Alright, so Blue Portals is the absolute best Portal mod I've ever played. It looks so good. The puzzles are absolutely amazing, and it is just so good. I don't even know what to say. The new test elements are really cool and are used in fun ways. The soundtrack is amazing and is basically on par with Portal Preludes. On top of that, there's just so much content you can play. The main campaign, the extended play, and even some bonus content. And so, I'm proud to award Blue Portals with the possibly only 10 out of 10. Let's see if any other one can top it. No. Portal Unity is an interesting mod. It was made by a couple people around before Portal 2 came out, and because of this, it's got a lot of elements inspired by those early trailers. But I will say that it's a pretty alright mod. The aesthetics are nice, the music is cool, and it's an overall pretty fun place to play through. Some problems I do have is that all the chambers, even the ones towards the end, feel very easy. Like, just too easy. Almost as if you can complete each of them in under 5 minutes, possibly. It's supposed to be in a reimagining of the original portal, which sort of makes sense, but I think it could have been nice to maybe up the difficulty for some parts. That's the only problem I really have with it. There's a couple more small ones, but they're not that big. It gets a 5 out of 10. Definitely not bad, and it's fun to play.
Alright, this mod is obviously meant to be goofy, but it's pretty good. The main game is fun, unless you have a short temper, and the... Advanced chambers and bonus maps are also cool. It's definitely not the best mod by any stretch, but I don't think I'm allowed to be like, it looks ugly, because... Duh. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's a good way to spend your afternoon, and you'll have a good time playing it. Just make sure you can portal bump. Gamma Energy is a good portal mod, but I never see anyone talk about it. The puzzles are alright, and with Portal Pro, it doesn't do anything crazy, but this mod to a lesser extent. It doesn't really have any custom elements, not saying all portal mods need to have them, but Portal Pro did have one or two of them. Besides that, the mod looks cool, and the boss fight at the end is neat, uh, just a little clunky. I give Gamma Energy a 7 out of 10. It's good, but it doesn't really do anything special to make it more talked about such as the likes of Portal Prelude and Factum Solus. But still, if you've never played it, I suggest giving it a play. Okay, I'm gonna say something a little surprising. I don't like Portal Still Alive. I'm really not sure how this is news to you. Okay, what you might be thinking. But Portal 2 player, how could it be bad if Valve themselves put it in a Portal re-release themselves? Well, the thing is, it was the first Portal mod ever, and I know what it said about Portal Prelude, as basically the first mod, so that's probably the only reason why. The mod looks ugly and has tons of problems like bad brushwork, misaligned textures, incorrect soundscapes, things not having correct textures, and a lot more. Now, you might think that the test chambers might make up for this, but even the test chambers aren't that good. A lot of them are just like, go here, then go here, then go here, over and over. Some chambers in Portal are like this, but not to any extent. It doesn't make any sense. I give it a 4 out of 10, but a question may you might have is, Portal 2 player, if you hate this mod so much, why is one of the test chambers your profile picture? Error is one of the newer Portal mods out there, but it's already gotten a lot of recognition. People keep saying it's the first Portal horror mod out there, but no, that's actually Portal.exe. Anyway, after playing through this mod, I guess it's... Okay? I mean, it's not exactly that frightening, and most of the scares are just loud noises. Another thing is that the lighting in a lot of places it just isn't good. Now, this is an issue with the Source Engine and how it deals with dark places, but I feel like they could have put some small lights so it's just not all purple and green. So yeah, I give this mod a 5 out of 10. It's pretty interesting, but I don't really see myself playing it again after I complete it. Okay, Aperture Deja Vu is another strange mod. It does something a bit different where the game is actually non-linear, which does make it cool. It has a lot of custom test elements, and most of them are presented pretty well, and some of the chambers are cool. A big problem I do have is that it just doesn't look good. It's not very polished, and that's a big flaw for this mod. I give it a 5 out of 10. It's fun to play if you want some time to spare, so you should check it out. Oh boy, Chell's Legend is a great mod. I'm guessing that most of you haven't actually heard of it, and that's because its development was pretty weird. Technically, the full game wasn't even released. Someone just got the files for the first half of it and dumped it on ModDB. But even though it's not finished, it's amazing. The visuals are some of the most creative I've ever seen in rival blue portals. The whole slowing time slash running concept is pulled off greatly and is used in creative ways. And tons more praises for it. Chell's Legend deserves a solid 8 out of 10. I bet if the whole game was completed, it would be absolutely amazing. The trailer music is also really good. Oh, Charlie? Charlie? Silly Charlie! Okay, okay. Similarly with Factum Solus, Hetch Chase Nailway is really popular, even though it's not good. Now, I don't want to go tricking fanboys of this mod, but... Oh, wait, uh, never mind. Real quick, let me just go through all the issues this mod has. Okay, every single one of the maps is leaked, and basically all the issues Portal Still Alive has. There's tons of art style inconsistencies, weird design choices, puzzles that are basically impossible to beat without a tutorial, and a lot more. I could talk about all the issues in this mod, but I don't want this video to be longer than an hour, so just trust me on this one. If there was a lot more polish and more player direction, it'd probably be much better. Maybe. Oh, and also I'd give it a 3 out of 10, in case that wasn't obvious. <coughs> when it comes to source mods, Russian ones are always the weirdest, and Shell's Way Home definitely fits into that category. You might have heard of this one, but if not, here's what happens. So basically, you wake up after the end of Portal 1, and then presumably go on an adventure outside of Aperture. 
it's interesting, I guess, and it's neat seeing Half-Life 2 and Portal mixed together, but it's not done that well. For one, there's barely any player guidance, so a lot of the time, I just walked around seeing where I had to go next. And the second main issue is that this mod is extremely boring. Basically, half the time you walk around trying to figure out what to do, and the other half is just waiting for cutscenes and stuff like that. I give Chell's Way to Home 3 out of 10. Now, I don't want to be too harsh, so maybe if there were more things like, hey, maybe check out over here, that would be good and make it much better. Also, the main robot looks like Michael Jackson. Something funny about this mod and me is that 10 years ago, I remember watching videos on this game and it blew my mind. But the thing is, I'd never actually played it. So for the first time, I actually checked it out. And what did I think? Well, I think that it's okay. The first thing you'll notice is that all the dialogue is just text. A bit strange, as it will be easier to just record yourself and put them in, but whatever. Anyway, I think that in certain areas, it looks pretty good. But a main problem is that all of the maps are leaked. So the lighting isn't good and there's no soundscapes. Something also strange is that it uses maps from Portal Prelude and Portal the Flash Edition, which I guess is supposed to connect them together? Even though they're by different developers? Eh, I give it a 4 out of 10. It's okay, I guess, but there are some problems with it. Also, this. Woohoo. I love walking through portals to get to an unclear objective. Okay, I don't really know what I was expecting from this mod, considering it's only two maps, but because it's really short, it's not that great. <laughs> Something weird is that the map is made to look like Portal 2 with the textures it has. I mean, the chamber's okay, I guess? I don't know. I give it a 3 out of 10. Also, it has an anime portal gun for some reason. As you can see, there is a button and a cube. Figure it out, genius. Okay, the thing with this mod is that I've heard about it before, but there is absolutely no footage of this mod anywhere on YouTube, and the only thing I've ever seen of this is on this video showing a bunch of portal mods. Wait a minute. Anyway, as you would think the name would suggest, this actually has nothing to do with cloning yourself, and it's actually kind of just generic and short. It has a few tricks up its sleeve, but not really enough. I give Clone Cube to 5 out of 10. It would probably be better if it was just longer and the whole game wasn't all over the place. What's your name, sir? My name is Dees. Dees what, sir? Alright, before playing Portal Smile, I thought that it was just going to be a really short, random mod that wasn't very good, and it wouldn't have anything to it. But... After playing it, honestly, this mod surprised me. I did not expect this to be finished in any way, and yet it has 15 chambers. It's pretty fleshed out and has a lot of content in it, and I had a lot of fun playing it. It's pretty good. But, some problems I do have is that it's got some interesting new mechanics in it that are cool, but aren't really pulled off in the best way. For example, the whole roller mine part is a good idea, but it's kind of annoying as you have to get them into these little holes. Something else is that it doesn't really look good, and there are some clunky and also broken test chambers. Besides that, I would suggest giving this mod a play. And so, I give Portal Smile a 6 out of 10. It's neat, and the whole thing is in Korean for some reason, but it's still cool. Also, this. <laughs> what? Is it Ireland? What is this? Whoa, what? Portal in Minecraft? That's funny. It's the block game in Portal. Oh my god. I give it a 4 out of 10. It's not bad, obviously, but come on. What do you expect from a mod called Portalcraft? Okay, so Hazmat's Portal Pack is interesting. It's not really that long, but it's kind of cool. A lot of things in the mod are retextured slash colored, like portals and some particles and stuff like that. But yeah, after playing through this mod, it's alright. The puzzles are decent and kind of generic, but I think they're okay. And with many mods that have this problem, it doesn't really look that good. So, I give Hazmat's Portal Pack a 5 out of 10. Also, one of the endings is a bit weird, but I'll let you check that out for yourself.
So despite the name of this mod, Logic Portals is not really logic based and relies more on quick timing and things like that. So the mod starts off in a relaxation chamber and then you spend 10 minutes trying to figure out how to get it to the room until you realize that there is a tiny hole right under the bed that you have to shoot a portal through. You are not told to look under the bed. But yeah, this mod isn't that great and uses glitches as a way to complete the chamber? Yeah, as you could see before, this mod does not have good player direction, so hopefully you like walking around trying to figure out what to do for around an hour. I give this mod a 4 out of 10. The one good thing about this mod is it actually doesn't look ugly, which I guess is nice, but it doesn't really outclass the downsides. Is there a better word than outclass? I don't care, I'm using it. So, Portal Hope is kind of just another one of those generic Portal mods, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It looks cool, the puzzles are nice, and it's fun to play. The problems it has, though, is that there's a lot of parts that involve reflecting energy pellets multiple times, and it's just really clunky. Another thing is that the voice acting seems... okay, but it's really hard to hear because there's no closed captioning, and it's really quiet. I give it a 5 out of 10. Now, from what I've seen, the developer has stopped working on this mod a few years ago and is working on a different project called Portal Ambition, so go support him over there. It has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that all- So, Portal Asset is only a demo, but from what there is, it's looking pretty good. Already, I can tell this mod has a lot of personality from the two chambers it shows, and <laughs> I'm always a sucker for behind-the-scenes stuff in test chambers. A minor problem I do have is that the opening is pretty long. Like, first you have to wait 60 seconds for Gladys to let you out, 5 seconds for this door to open, 20 seconds for this fizzler to scan me, then go through the elevator for 10 seconds. Like, I just want to play the game, man! Come on! So, I give the Portal a sit demo a 7 out of 10. I can already tell this game is going to be pretty good and look amazing. Okay, so I've never actually played Narbacular Drop, You're a fraud. but this mod is okay. It's got the textures, custom music, and that's kind of it. I give it a 5 out of 10. From what I've seen, the game isn't completed, but when it is, it'll probably be a faithful recreation of the game. So, similar to Portal Assist, this mod is also just a demo, but it still looks pretty good. Even though it's only the training course, it's still pretty fun. The map looks good, the voice acting is good, and the sound's nice, and it's fun to play. I don't have too much to say, but I think the whole game will be pretty fun. So, I give Half Alive a 6 out of 10. Dual you portal gun already? Of the Aperture Science handheld oh. portal device. Alright, Portal in Search of Cake is a good mod. The chambers are nice, but a bit claustrophobic, and it's cool I guess. But a big problem I have is that it's just super generic. Like, the test chambers don't really have anything to them, there's no custom elements which would have made it better, but yeah. I give it a 6 out of 10. It's good, but there's not really anything there to make you want to play it. Okay, I'll be honest, I was just looking for portal mods on ModDB and randomly found this and thought, eh, I guess. So I played it. It's extremely short and there's nothing much to it. It's a 3 out of 10. Here at Amateur Science, we innovate. Well, we try to. You see, most of our quote-unquote inventions at best don't work, or at worst, land us in trouble with the ethics board. Okay, so Portal Crumbs of Truth is actually a very new Portal mod, with it only coming out about a month ago. The voice acting is actually good and kind of funny, the test chambers are easy enough, and I really liked a couple of them. I don't have many problems with this mod, but the only ones I do have are ones that nobody would care about, and only people that use Hammer would get it. So, I give Portal Crumbs of Truth a 7 out of 10. It's a nice mod that looks good, and it's kind of similar to the original Portal, but different enough so that it's pretty cool. And that's all the mods I had lined up. I hope I covered everything, and if I didn't cover your super favorite niche Portal mod, I guess I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and uh, I think it's time to give me and my hard drive a break from Portal mods. Anyway, bye. See you.